Hello. Good evening. Hi, Sulma. Hello, Rina. Hello. Hello. How are you, Sulma? ¿Qué tal? Um, I am fine. You're fine. Did you work today? Me tocó que trabajar hoy. Yes, teacher. Yes. When do you rest? ¿Cuándo descansa? Uh, uh, on the weekend. Ah, uh, weekends. Saturdays and Sundays. And Sunday. Mm, okay, cool. What do you do on your days off? ¿Qué hace en sus días libres? What do you do on your days off? I like to sleep. <laughs> you like to sleep. I um, like to sleep. That's a good idea. <laughs> eh, comparto con la familia y, y este, eh, watching TV en series. Series. And you can say yeah. that you like to spend time. Spend time with your family. That is the, the verb that you can use. Okay, but very good activities. Family, uh, you chill out, and you stay at home most of the time, right? Uh, okay, Sulma. Well, nice to have you over here, Sulma. And hello to everyone. Hi, Katia, Nehemias, hello. Hello, Rina. Where are you, Rina? Hi, Maricela. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Bear. Good evening. Good evening. Where are you, Rina? Are you in the office? No. I have. I, como le digo, de compras en el super. Ah, okay. <laughs> I am buying groceries. <laughs> groceries. Okay, Rina. All right, no problem. If you want to, Aquí voy si quieres, lo que, un rato. Ajá, en lo que quiere, si, eh, si quiere, puede apagar la cámara en lo que termina de comprar. Y ya cuando ya esté ya ahí, okay. ya la, la activa. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. And guys, Rosy, Nehemias, Mario, Zulma, if it's possible, please activate the camera. Remember, Nehemias? Ah, okay, thank you. Uh -huh. So please remember to activate your camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance and then we, we continue. Okay. Daisy Yesenia. Doris de Casaneda. Iris Cañas. Jennifer Marcela. Mm, Jose Mario. Yes. Okay, thank you. Katia Gabriela. Present. Thank you. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Okay. Mauricio Castaneda. Minette Rivera. Nehemias Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Rafael Antonio, René Guardado. Present. Okay. Rina Espinosa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Rosy Meléndez. Present. Vladimir Antonio, Yanira Cepeda, Zulma, Zulma Lorena. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Zulma. Okay, so we are going to start with an activity. Okay, this activity is simple. It's an acronym. I don't know if you're familiar with them. So it's going to be using your name. You have to use your name and you have to describe the way you are. For example, I'm going to say, um, Joel. Okay. So you have to, to type the letters or write the letters in a vertical way. And then you have to say something that describes you 
with the letters of your name. I'll give you an example. Okay, so Joel, I have to say four characteristics of Joel using his name, and they have to start with the letter of his name. Okay, so with J, maybe I can say um, juvenile, um, um, oriented, and then energetic, energetic, and lovely. Okay. Tienen que escribir o describirse utilizando su nombre. Lo van a escribir en manera vertical y luego van a decir cuatro características que empiecen con la primera letra que hayan puesto. Is it clear? Do you understand the way it works? Katia, you do. Okay. Questions? Do you have a question about the activity? Um, you can use the whiteboard, guys. You can use the whiteboard. If you can use the annotation tool, I can, I can create different pieces of it and you can use a space of it. And then we can, we can all see your acronym. Okay, so here you have different parts of the whiteboard. Pueden, si tienen la annotation tool, pueden escribir o, o digitarlo aquí. So remember your name in a vertical, in a vertical way. And then you have to describe the way you are. Y luego utilizan adjetivos o, o algo, ¿verdad? Que comience con la primera letra que está ahí. Questions? O alguien que no haya comprendido. Vaya, teacher. Ah, Ajá. lo siento, teacher. Dígalo una vez más. Ok, es como un acrónimo. Van a escribir su nombre de manera vertical. Like René. René. Ok, y luego se va a describir y lo que diga tiene que comenzar. Por ejemplo, la primera palabra que usted utilice tiene que empezar con R. Y luego otra va con la E. Al final va a tener cuatro descripciones de usted. Sí, es como describirse, pero utilizando solo las, las letras de su nombre. Marisela, do you oh. have a question? Uh -huh. I don't hear you, Marisela. Que yo pensé que usted decía que, con, va, por ejemplo, el mío, M, comienza con M, ¿verdad? Ajá, your name is very long. Sí, es muy largo, entonces. You have to, ajá, uh -huh, find. Find igual el segundo, el segundo es igual. Aquí lo voy a hacer, aquí, ya, aquí, ahorita lo hago, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, so it will be like this, Marisela. Y luego por cada letra, una descripción, algo que la describa usted. Pero lo que la describa tiene que empezar con M o con A, R, and so on. When you finish, you're going to read the, the acronym. Let's see the way you are. Nos vamos a conocer un poquito más.
Okay, I created one about my my middle name. My middle name is is Patricia. So a lot of people call me Patty. <laughs> That's like my my nickname. Okay, so here you have like an idea about my personality or the way I am, and I'm using my name to to describe it. So I I say people. Trump person. Is muy corto. <laughs> That's why I use Patty and not Evelyn. Evelyn is longer. So angry sometimes, timid sometimes too, uh, thinking all the time and yawn. Okay, and that's like a little bit about me and I'm using my name to say it. So it's, it's for you to have an idea. Okay, be creative. How are you doing? Are you almost done? No, Katya says no. Uh, okay, um, let's do this. Let's pause. Let's pause the acronym because of the time, and we will continue continue the acronym in the next in the first fifteen minutes of tomorrow's class. <laughs> So you can finish and you can tell me your acronym. Ah, okay, Naomi, as you just finish yours. <laughs> can you read it, please? Uh, maybe the first one you can say novel. Novel. Mm -hmm. As the adjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. So novel. And then. 
Uh -huh. Easy going. <laughs> Handsome. Efficient. Man. Important. Art and service. Uh -huh. Words that describe you. It's a little bit difficult, right? Because you think about you and the word, so it's kind of difficult, but you finish, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is there anybody else? And your name is very long, Nehemias, a lot of letters. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, is there anybody else ready? Okay, so let's pause it. We will, we will continue tomorrow. I would love to give you more time, but we have many activities to do. We have some conversations. We have a new tense. So we will pause it. And tomorrow you can, you can complete it. And share with us the, the way you are with the acronym. Okay, but for now we will continue. Today, guys, we start unit number three. Unit number three, so we are like in the last half of the of this level. And this is what we are going to study. Or the objective is that you can describe future work events, okay? We will study how to create sentences in future tense. Okay, so here we have a question. We will start with the first question. Let's begin with René. Okay, René. Who schedules the events at your workplace? Who schedules events at your workplace? Who schedules the events at your workplace? Um, well, I can say my boss is the one that scheduled events. Where do you work, Rene? I work on TP. Ah, is it still, ah, okay, that's, and what do you do? What is your occupation there? Uh, right now, I am uh, real-time analyst. You're an analyst, ah, okay, got it. Yeah. And what time do you finish working? Well, my, the schedule is from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm, okay, so in the afternoon you're free. And they give yeah, you time out of your, your um, job so you can study. Yes. Oh, no, yes. no way. You, you finish at 3 p.m. So right now. Yeah, that's not... right. I finished 3 p.m. So right now I am off. Mm -hmm. So I don't have problems with my schedule right now. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Rene. And Katia, what about sure. your company? Who schedules? What's a schedule? Program. Who programs the events at your workplace? Creo que lo mismo, my boss. Your boss. Uh -huh. In it. And how often does he does he plan activities? Mm. Or events? Creo que sería como no sé cómo decirlo, pero como al mes, ¿verdad? Programa este los eventos que van a tener. Okay, mm -hmm. you can say that he schedules events every month. Every month. Okay. Or once a month. That is the same, the same thing. Okay, Katia, thank you. And Mario, what about your workplace? Who is the one who schedules the events in your company? <clears throat> okay. For the moment, uh, human resource. Uh, HR. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Thank you, Mario. Nemias, question number two. What are some events that are taking place next week? What are some events that 
you or your company has next week? ¿Cómo sería? Capacitaciones. Training. Training. Uh -huh. Is there anything else that you guys have going um, on next week? Yes. Uh, fuera de lo normal, sí. So nothing else. Solo eso. Nothing. Just training. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Every day or only one day next week? Uh, uh, todos los días sería... Every day. Every day. Uh -huh. Okay, Nemias, yes. thank you. And what about you, Maricela? What are some events that are taking place in your company next week? Or in your life? Plans for next week, Maricela? Uh, Podría ser así como contrataciones de personal. Mm, okay. They are hiring employees. Oh, okay. Hire okay. is a... Uh -huh. That is one event that is taking place next week. What else, Maricela? ¿Qué más? What else? Tenemos compra de equipo y capacitación de personal. Okay, so you can say the, the same, trainings. Trainings. Wait, I think I misspelled it. Like this, trainings. Trainings. Mm -hmm. And purchases. You have to make purchases. Only. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maricela. And lastly, Zulma. What are some events that are taking place next week? Lo de contratación de personal, perdón, era. Hire. 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 Mm -hmm. Una feria de la salud. You can say that it's a health fair. Health fair. Hal Capacitaciones. Trainings. Right. That's the, the way you can say it. Just that. Okay. Thank you, Sulma. I appreciate it. We will continue, but now we will practice some pronunciation and we can see what we will be studying a little bit. Peter and Henry, you can see them there. So it says, hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, well, Maria is, but Julie, is attending the conference this year too. So I see, but if Yuli is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee committee about it. Okay, so now it is your turn. We will start with Nelson, Nelson and Marce. Nelson, you are Pete, Peter, <laughs> and Marce, you are um, Hello, Henry. I have a question. Uh, who is representing the company in the GR conference? Hey Peter, well, Maria is but Maria is but Julie is attending the conference this year, this year too. So, 
I see, but if Julia is attending, who is delivery the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Um, great. So I am informing the co committee, committee about this. Committee about mm -hmm. it. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Marce. Now let's continue okay. with Zulma and Marisela. Zulma, you start. You are Peter. Marisela, you are Henry. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Where Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. But if Julia, Julie, is attending who is delivering the perception for the I, I, C -E -O. C -E -O. C -E -O. C -E O next week. Well, what I am, I am present, present, presenting, mm -hmm. presenting with Hector, the new account. Sound great. So I am inf informing the committee about it. Okay. Thank you, Maricela, and thank you, Sulma. I'm just going to help you with the pronunciation of some words. This one is yearly. Can you say yearly? Uh, yearly. yearly. Uh huh. But. Yearly. But. Presentations. Presentation. Uh huh. Presentations. And the one here is sounds. That's the way it sounds. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Maricela and Sulma. Now, Rosy, Rene. Rosy, you are Peter, and Rene, you are Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, uh, Maria is, but Ju Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Um, guess what? I am. I am represent, representing with Hector, the new accountant. Sound great. So I am informing the community about it. Okay. Thank you, Rene and, and Rosy. I appreciate it. Now, Alberto, are you there, Alberto? Can you continue? Alberto, do you hear me? We will continue with you and Katia. Uh, I guess he's not there. Okay, so Katia and Mario, in that case. Katia, you're Peter. You start, you go first. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hi, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation of the CEO next week? 
Guess what? I am I am pres presenting Present. with Hector mm -hmm. the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Thank you, Katia, and thank you, Mario. Now, Nehemias, and Joa, can you speak? Can you read? Joa. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, yes. Okay, so Nehemias, you start. You go first. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is that Julie is attending the conference this year to so. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am, I am pres presenting with Hector and with accountant. Sound great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, thank you, Joa, and thank you, Nehemias. Just this part here, Nehemias, you have to say sounds great. And this sounds one is great. and committee. That's the way it, it sounds, yes. Guys, here you have the meaning of CEO. If you didn't know, it is a chief executive officer. Is like a big boss in a big company. And he is the one of maybe taking or making big decisions in a company. So it's that's the CEO, someone who has the highest ranking in the company. Okay, do you have other questions about this, about this conversation? Uh, do you have questions, Katia? No, not today, <laughs> not in this moment. Okay, anybody questions? No, okay, so let's let's continue here. We will continue first with Nelson. Okay, Nelson, here we have a part where it says complete the following sentences. Figure it out. What are we missing in number one, Nelson? Do you have an idea? He is present the, with the new employee. What are we missing? You can see the, the conversation. ¿Qué necesitamos para completar la idea? He is present with the new employee. Uh, at, attending the conference. Uh, no, no, is that no. not that, Nelson? But thank you. Let's ask Marcela. What do you think? We have to complete the idea. New account, what do you say? No, is, is something else, Marcela? Thank you. And Marcela, Marce, do you have an idea? Es una letra. Mm. No. Yes, Hector, teacher. No, 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 I don't know, teacher. Okay. A-N-G, teacher. Aha, uh -huh. the I-N-G. If you want to, you can see it here. He is presenting, so he is presenting. Well, it's not the same, right? But yes, presenting, I-N-G. Thank you, Joa. So I will put it here, I-N-G. Okay, and then we have number two, Sulma. I informing the committee about that. What are we missing? ¿Qué nos hace falta? What are we missing, Sulma? No, I am. Aha, uh -huh, the verb to be. And to be more specific, am. I am. Okay, excellent. 
So as I told you before, today we start a new thing. So if you were bored about practicing with simple present, well, don't worry. Today we're going to study something new, okay? We're going to study how to use um, present continuous to talk about future activities. Okay, we will study the structure and the use of present continuous. Okay, give me one moment. Present continuous. And we have a, let's say like a formula. We have a structure that we will use. I'm going to share with you a presentation. Please write it down, write it down on your notebook the formula that we are going to use, the structure that we are going to use today. We need the verb B, we need the verb plus ing. You have some examples there. I will give you a moment, okay? But there you have the structure. Where it says other words, we are talking about the complement. Let me know when you have finished taking notes so I can, I can continue, okay? Me avisan cuando hayan terminado de tomar notas. Okay, so we will continue. So here you can see the structure. We need the subject and we need the verb B. And if you remember, we have three forms of the verb B, right? Am, is, or are. Okay, is, when do we use is, Rene? Which subjects take is? Carlos. And what else? Which other subjects? Mm. When do he, you use? He. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, can you repeat? Yeah, what is a name? What is when we refer like she or he? Uh, yes. Okay. So we have is and we have to use it when we have singular nouns, right? As Rene said. Yeah. When you have he, she, or it, or singular nouns like a person, a student, a teacher. And then Correct. the the verb be M. When do we use that one, Maricela? The first one you see here. Uh, um, mm -hmm. yo. With I. 
Correct. That's the one we use. And then we have R, right? This is the other option you have of the verb be. R. Okay, and that one, Katia, when do we when do we use R? Yeah, going you, they, and mm -hmm. we. We? Mm-hmm. And plural and plural nouns. Okay, so there you have the structure. The name of this tense is called present continuous. A este tiempo se le llama present continuous or present progressive. It is the same, but we are going to use present continuous to talk about future activities, okay? We are going to use present continuous to talk about future activities. Okay, when do we use present continuous to talk about future activities? I will mention it here. When you have program activities or future plans, you can use present continuous. Schedule activities, like things you have in your calendar, they are already programmed, okay? That's the moment we use present continuous. And I will put it here. We can use present continuous to talk about the future, okay? So in this moment, we are going to use present continuous to talk about the future. Sí, vamos a utilizar presente continuo para, util para hablar de el futuro. And I'm going to give you examples. Okay. Remember the structure. The structure. I am buying a cell phone next Monday. I am buying a cell phone next Monday, okay? September the 5th, future. I'm talking about a future activity. Or I can say, I am going to a meeting on September, September 30th, okay? I am talking about something that is going to happen in the future, but it's a program activity. Or I can say, um, if you remember Vladimir said the last yesterday, I can say Vladimir is, I use is in this case, going to his sister's wedding on, on September the 23rd, on the 23rd, oops. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I, I changed it. Okay, I'm talking about future events. If you want to talk about future events, plan activities, schedule activities, use this structure. A negative sentence. We are not or we aren't having classes on, on I will use independence. Independence Day. We are not having classes on Independence Day. It's a program activity. Do you understand? Do you understand or not yet? What do you think? Do you have questions? Katia, do you have a question? Sí. 
-huh. eh, sobre el verbo, este, eh, funciona para todos los, para todos los verbos. Eh, uh -huh. Agregar IN. Yes. ING. Yes. All uh -huh. verbs. But remember with plans, something that you already have planned, we use present continuous. If you try to translate, si ustedes tratan de traducir, se va a oír feo. Es algo que en español no se dice. Así que aquí es donde ya tienen que como pensar en inglés, por así decir. Because we don't say this like that. Or another example, one more example. Um, you are having, oh, okay, this, you are, Eating pupusas with your friends on Sunday. Okay, it is a future activity, but I'm using present continuous. Okay, if you don't have questions, can you give me in this moment one example about a future activity of yours? Using this structure. Un ejemplo utilizando esta estructura para hablar de un evento futuro. Algo que ya tengan planeado or program. Let me know when you're ready. Me avisan cuando ya lo tengan. Because your examples help everyone. Tus ejemplos van a ayudar a todos. So let me know when you are ready. Um, Podría decir. Uh -huh. Please. Uh, sería así como I am working tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm working tomorrow. Yes, that is a plan, right? I'm working tomorrow. Or I'm sí, working tomorrow. Le iba a preguntar, mm -hmm. le a preguntar si era específico con fechas o, o podría ser así eh, con. Con, digamos, eh, en la tarde, eh, eh, con tiempos. Yes, it's a good question. Actually, it is important that we kind of mention when this is happening so people understand that it's, that it's like a future activity. If you look at my examples, all of them in the complement part, they kind of have a time word. I mentioned when, when it's going to happen. I think I have other examples over here. Can you, can you read them? Well, just number one. Uh, I will, I think it's like a conversation. Then I will tell you how to create questions, okay? But, Let's see, Katia, can you read number one? Okay, the one here. Seria, I am meeting mm -hmm. the interns tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And here you have the time word, tomorrow. So yes, it is, it is important, but we mentioned when, when it's happening. Pero si no mencionáramos, I mean the intern, y si no mencionáramos tomorrow, ¿estaría correcto o no? It will be incorrect mm -hmm. if the context didn't set it. Estaría incorrecto si en el contexto nunca se mencionara cuándo. Pero si ya alguien lo mencionó anteriormente, ya no. Como que si yo dijera, um, Tomorrow I'm going to the beach. Tomorrow I'm going to the beach. Y vienes tú y dices, oh, I'm going to Apaneca. Aunque no menciones que es tomorrow, ya el contexto dice que, que ambos hablamos de, de mañana. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Okay. You're welcome. So let's, let's take a look to your examples. Uh, Mario, can you read your example, please? Mario? Uh, 
Hi, teacher. Hello. Can you read your example, please? Uh, yes, sorry. I have signal problem. Ah, ah okay. Uh -huh. I am you... ready. Okay, go ahead. Leo la sample. Yours, uh -huh. el, el suyo. You are drinking alcohol in your house on the weekends. On weekends, okay. Let's change the complement. You can say this weekend, this weekend, or you can say next weekend. Porque si decimos on weekends, es como que cada, cada fin de semana, pero tenemos que ser más específico. Only that, Mario, but thank you. Let's continue, Rosie. Can you read okay. your example, please? Thank you, Mari. I have training next Wednesday, September 15th. One more time, Rosie, please. I have training. No sé si se dice capacitación. But remember to use the verb I am. Having training, you have to use this structure. I am having training. Having training, and then you can mention the moment. Okay, let's continue with Nehemiah. Okay. I am going to the mall in Saturday to buy a printer. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Just choose I'm going to. I am going to the mall on, on Saturday, name, yes. That's the, <laughs> the right preposition. Rene, do you have yours? Can you tell us about a future event? Uh, well, the only one that I think about it is I'm going to visit my kids on this next Saturday. Uh -huh. You seem going to, and you seem present continuous, Rene. How would you say it? I'm going to. I'm going to. Okay, well, it sounds like going to the other way. Like you're visiting, right? You're visiting your, your family. But yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, That's it's right. also. I'm going to visit it, my family. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. What's the other way to say it? What could be the other way to say it? You could use going to. I'm going to to visit. It's going to like I'm I am going, going to, to take visit. a shower. So yeah, yeah. but okay. it's like going. But I understand the way you you were saying it. Like present continuous, but using going right. Like I go, I'm going. Okay, thank you, Rene. Okay. Let's see, Joanna. Sure. What is your idea, your event? Um, I am watching a movie on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I'm watching a movie on Sunday. Thank you. Nelson? Okay. I am going to celebrate my son's birthday on September 19th. September 19th. Yes, that's a good idea. The other option is I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating my son's birthday. But yes, I'm going to celebrate it also. Yes, correct. Thank you. Marcela, ready? I am going to celebrate my birthday on September 8th. On September 8th. Huh? Or I am, and just the verb. I am celebrating. And then you continue the idea. Because if you say I'm going to, I'm going to is, is a different tense. 
That is future tense. But it's 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 correct. Está siempre bien. Not saying that it's not. Okay, Maricela, do you have yours? Sorry. Nelson, did you have a question? No, no tenía una pregunta. Yes. Ajá. Yes, yes. Eh, eh, two verb en, en la estructura se puede utilizar dos verbos. Yes. Como en este caso. Yes. Sí. Pero el que usted utilizó es, y, uh, es otra estructura que se utiliza para futuro. Uh, okay. En este solo se coloca el verbo con ing. I am. I am. Y I am. luego la actividad. Celebrating, eating, playing. Okay. Yes. I am. Okay. Gracias. Yes, Alberto. Teacher, can you hear me? Uh -huh. oh, yes. Yes, I can. Tengo una pregunta. Cuando usamos en el verbo lo que es ING, eh, siempre se estará hablando lo que es en futuro. O, no. por ejemplo, puedo, me dicen, por ejemplo, por ejemplo me dicen, eh, what are you doing? Yo puedo decir, I'm working, I'm working now. Eh, I, I'm resting in, at home. Mm -hmm. There are like four uses of present continuous, Nelson. So we can use it with activities that are happening in that moment. But this is one oh, way to yeah. use it. The one that we are practicing right now is like to talk about plans, future plans. But later on, we will study other ways, other ways to use present continuous. Y para que se convierta, abonando lo que decía la compañera, para que se convierta mm -hmm. en futuro, eh, empezamos el ING y anexando lo que es lo, eh, la fecha. Ajá, time. Or, Monday, um, Saturday, um, next weekend. Ajá, that's right. Okay. That is what you have to do. Okay. And people will know that it's a future activity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Maricela, yes, sorry. What is your example, Maricela? Are you there, Maricela? Or maybe she's not there right now. And, and the one you sent, Alberto, by chat, it is correct, the sentence you sent. Okay, now questions. Questions using using present perfect continuous is very simple. You have to change the position of the subject and the verb. I am buying a cell phone next Monday. Question. I will say, are you? Are you? I just changed the verb and the subject. Are you buying a phone next week? Answer. Yes, I am. That is the short answer. Yes, I am. Vladimir is going to his sister's wedding. Question, change the verb and the subject. Is Vladimir, is Vladimir going to a wedding? on the 23rd of September 23rd? Yes, he is. Negative form, no, he isn't. That is the negative option. We are not having classes on Independence Day, okay. You can also add WH. Why aren't and change the position of the subject and the verb be. Cambiamos el sujeto de puesto con el verb to be. Ese es el único cambio, ¿verdad? Why aren't we having classes on, on September 15th, Independence Day? Okay. 
That is what you have to do. You are eating pupusas with your friends. Okay, what is the question, Alberto? What do you think will be the question? You are eating pupusas with your friends on Sunday. Are you, are you eating pupusas with your friend on Sunday? Uh-huh, that is what you say. And if you want to, you can include, mm -hmm. I will include where. Where are you eating pupusas? With your friends on Sunday? Oh, I'm eating pupusas in, in Abyss on Sunday, as an example, okay? It's up to you. That is the question. Now, before I continue, I need to take the attendance. I need to take the attendance in this, in this moment. Okay, so we will start with Daisy. Okay. Daisy Yesenia. Doris de Castaneda. Iris Cañas. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Marcela. Present. Okay, thank you. Katia. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lisette del Carmen. Present. Maris, Maricela del Carmen. Okay, thank you, Mario. Then Mauricio Castaneda. Minette, Minette Rivera. Nehemias Regalo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Present. Okay, thank you. Then Present. Rafael. Rafael Antonio. René Guardado. Present. Okay, Rina. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Rosy Meléndez. And then Yanira. Yanira Cepeda. Vladimir Antonio. And Zulma Lorena. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Now guys, can you create a question? Can you create a question like, like this about something using present continuous? Okay, and you can send it by chat or you can say it. Uh -huh, Nehemias, thank you. Who else is ready? Katia, are you ready? Um, tengo una duda, pero se la voy a decir. <laughs> Sería así. Is Maricela having a breakfast tomorrow morning? Uh -huh. Yes, it is correct. Okay. It's correct. Thank you. Rene, can you continue? I'm sorry, Tisha. I lost for a second. What I need to. Uh, the question. To do, Rene? One question. Uh, any question? Mm, yes, with present continues to express future. If you want oh, to, okay. I can give Just you sure. time if you want to structure it, or do you have one in mind? Uh, I don't have any on mind right now. Give me just one. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Yes. And now, let's, Sulma, are you drinking coffee or tea on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Okay, that could be good. Let's see. Nelson? 
What do you think? Uh, where, where are you celebrating this song birthday? Where are you celebrating? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Joanna. Are you watching a movie on Sunday? Marce, uh -huh. are we eating pizza this Sunday? Are you buying a car next year? Yes, Rosie, it's also correct. And let's see, Mario or Alberto, do you have your, your question? Are you going to run? Okay, you can say, are you, are you running tomorrow? Okay. And Alberto, are you there? Maybe he doesn't hear me now. Okay, so now we will practice with this. In this moment, we will work, practice with this. And so you know the way it, it will go. I will separate you so you can complete this worksheet using present continuous, okay? You have to read and you have to see if it is a question or you have to think about the right verb to use. Okay, and Rene, did you think about the, the question? Are we going to have class tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Rene. So now I'm going to assign you, let me see. Maricela, work with, let me see, Nelson, Nelson and, and René. Okay, Maricela, Nelson, René. Nehemias, Zulma, and Marcela. Nehemia, Zulma, Marcela. And then we will have Joa, Rosy, and Rina. Next group, Nelson, Alberto, Katia, and Mario. Okay, so please open, open the room. Eh, Ese es lo, de la, lo del Word, lo que manda lo que manda el grupo. Okay. Sí, sí, solo que ahorita permítanme. Hello, I'm going to be with you a moment, okay, just to, to listen to you, but you can okay. you can continue. Okay. okay. Eh, tendríamos que hacer completar la oración, entonces aquí sería Sam mm. Sam sería having lunch Sam is, is Sam is, creo que es Sam is 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 having, uh, having, creo having, que porque having, having, lunch, having, the, the lunch, no, mm, lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. Y acá es pregunta, entonces acá sería como are, are you? you are you are you eh, sería playing 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 to Dubai next week 
to hey, do. Okay. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mr. Parking. Mr. Parking is uh, is is giving. Yes, is giving. Tiene. Ajá, yo creo que en esta parte, eh, teacher. Yes. Eh, en esta parte, cuando terminan eh, en, con la vocal E, se elimina, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. The way you put it is giving. Ah, okay. Give it. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the next, uh, hurry the train. Mm. Esta, hurry es como una expresión, una exclamación. Uh -huh. yeah. Hurry. <laughs> Sería it, it is. It is living. Living. Ah, porque se está refiriendo a una cosa, ¿verdad? Ajá, you're is leaving in 10 minutes. Estará llegando en 10 minutes. En 10 minutos. Uh -huh. I am... Eh, aquí sí. I am her at... Um, do you need help? Yeah. With that? Getting, getting up. Uh huh. Getting up. Yes, I am getting up. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Good. And double the T. Cuando ah, las okay. últimas tres letras de, no sé si les he mencionado eso, cuando las últimas tres letras de un verbo son consonante, vocal, consonante, se dobla. Se dobla la, la siguiente, la última letra. Y como ese get solo tiene, solo tiene tres, es consonante, vocal, consonante, entonces se hace doble. Es como sí. fat o big. Big es consonante, vocal, consonante. Así que tiene que ponerle otra G. Entonces acá sería... Doble T. Ajá, giving. Sí. Uh -huh. Giving up. Okay. okay. Thank you. Well, I'm going to let you continue. I'm going to check another group, okay? But okay. I will send you back in a moment. Thank okay. you. Bye. Getting up. Sí, verdad. Hello. Sí, Is there something well. I can help you with? Sí, teacher, tenemos una duda en number five. Uh -huh. I get at es I get in. Así que haría, I get in at. I am, uh, I'm getting, getting at. Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok. Double T. Double T. Uh -huh. uh, double T. Yes. Besides that, do you have any other questions? For me? For me, no, teacher. Okay, and you, Rina, or Rosy? I'm not teacher. No. I'm not teacher. Okay, all right. So I'll visit another group and we will meet each other in, in a moment. Bye. Pero ella no lo agrega, a saber por qué. Hi. Hi. Hola. How are you doing? Hello. Hello there. Bien. Do you have Solo... Bien tengo, tengo una yo, uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, what is your question? <laughs> que eh, falta como, te, eh, digamos en la primera, ¿verdad? Solo tenía Sam y faltaba Liz. Uh -huh. eh, se, lo, se lo tenemos que agregar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. And you have to use ING. Mm -hmm. Having lunch, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. At the cafeteria tomorrow. 
Sí, sí, porque si tenemos la duda de que como no lo agregó usted, no sé si lo tenemos que agregar. Yes, ajá, sí, ajá. sí, solo no lo puse, pero sí siempre es de, de utilizar present perfect continuous, así que sí se le pone. Teacher, sí. the same number two, are you flying? All of them, ajá, are you flying to Dubai? Yes, yes I am. Uh -huh. okay. Pero, pero no, como en la, en la... Como una explicación, ¿verdad? Decía que teníamos que usar las palabras que están en la, entre paréntesis, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y en la, por ejemplo, en el número dos solo está A, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero sería are, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, are you? Are you flying? Sí, sí, ahí como algo perdida con ah, sorry sorry that it confused you here, here in number for example in number four only uh, he say hurry the train leaving mm -hmm. in, ten, in ten minutes mm -hmm. the, y le agregamos the train is leaving oh, yes. mm -hmm. in ten minutes uh -huh. that is what we mm -hmm. have to do Now, because of the time, we will continue checking it in the next, in the main room, because we still have some activities, so we will check it in the other room. So let's go back there, and then we, we talk a little bit more about it. Or I don't know if you okay. have any other questions. No sé si tienen algo más que preguntar. No, por el momento. En las cuatro no. nos quedamos. Ah, en esa. <risa> ok, lo vamos a completar junto, lo, juntos. Lo que pasa es que todavía tenemos una conversación y hoy quiero darles más tiempo que ayer porque ayer no, no fue muy bueno el tiempo. Siento que necesitan más tiempo para preparar. Así que quiero calcular, okay. darles más. Ok, so let's, let's go back to the main room. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, welcome back. Now we will check. We will check that your answers are correct. So we will start with group number one. That one is Maricela, Nelson, and René. Okay, so René, can you help us with number one? Sam, having a lunch at the cafeteria tomorrow. Sam, Having like this. Oops. Yeah. There is one thing that we are missing, Rene. Can you try to detect it? Mm. Mm. Don't want sure if it will no. Um. The verb. Uh, That's the only is thing. Is having. having lunch. Yes. Mm. Okay, Rene. Thank you. Now, Nehemias, number two. It's a question. Uh, are you flying to Dubai next week? Yes, uh -huh. I am. Flying to Dubai, yes, I am. That's correct. Thank you. It is Rina and Rosie. Rina, can you tell us the answer that you have? Number three. Uh, it's Mr. Martin giving. Giving her student. Okay, there is one thing missing. Hay una cosita que hace falta. Pero le voy a ayudar porque yo sé que no estaba. <risa> Hay que utilizar el verbo el ver to be primero y luego el verbo con ing. En este caso sería is. Ah, is given. Okay. Is given. Okay. Thank you, Rita. Group number three. We continue. Sorry, four. Mario, Katia y Nelson. Katia, number four, please. Sería hurry. The train is leaving in 10 minutes. Yes, it's leaving. Okay, now Nelson, number five, Nelson Rene. What 
what is the answer? Okay. Uh, five. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I get, get, get you. I getting getting uh -huh. getting getting up getting up like uh -huh. this así como lo puse uh, I am uh -huh. I we am. have to use the verb uh -huh. okay I am getting up very early tomorrow morning okay Nelson now it is correct okay let's let's continue now, Zulma, Zulma Lorena, number six. Uh, is John coming to the party? Yes. And the answer? Party. No, he doesn't. Uh, another possibility para la respuesta? No, he, da, no, he doesn't. Uh, no, no, doesn't because that is a different tense. Ahorita ya nos olvidamos de simple present. So, which would it be? No. I, I will help you. We have to use the verb be. No, he uh, isn't. No, he isn't. Solo estamos utilizando el verb be. So, no, he, he isn't. Okay, so, okay. thank you. Let's continue with Mario. Mario, number seven. I am mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. to shopping mall this weekend. Yes, I'm going to a shopping mall. Let's see, Joanna, number seven, eight, I'm sorry. No, we are going out on Friday. We are staying home. All right. Going out. Number nine. Can you help us with that one, Alberto? So morning is Saturday. I, I am sleeping late. Uh-huh. Um, sleeping late. Thank you. Maricela, number 10. Are you there, Maricela? Marcela, and you? Can you help us with number three? Number 10? I am playing football tomorrow afternoon at 2.30. Yes, that's the one. Okay, now let's see Nehemiah's. Number 11. Uh, Sally turned turn off the TV. We are eating dinner soon. Uh -huh. We are eating dinner. Thank you. And Rosie, number 12. Um, no. We are having a meeting today if at three o'clock tomorrow. Is this correct? We are having Rosy. Está bien como la puso? Yeah. Okay, Rosy, thank you. Sí. And Katia, do you have the same? Así la tienen ustedes. No, we are having a meeting today. Aren't Ah, uh -huh. we aren't. Rosy sería aren't porque es, dice no al principio. So that's why we don't put it in the negative form. Do you have a question, guys? Do you have a question about this? No. Okay, just like feedback, solo como feedback, recuerden no. el verb to be. Tienen que poner el verb be en the verb plus ing. Nehemías, tell us. Eh, lo que nos explicaba de las 
eh, la, regla. la doble consonante. ¿no? Ajá. Ah, ok. Uh, when you have, for example, get, there is a rule that is consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. If the last three letters meet with this rule, se dobla la última letra. Like consonant, vowel, consonant, entonces se tiene que doblar la última. Getting. Así como fat, también cumple con eso. Si tuviéramos que cre crear, por ejemplo, fatter, sería así, fatter. Or big, cuando son así, hay que doblar la última. Si no, por ejemplo, try, try, no, no cumple con esta regla, porque hay consonant, consonant, consonant. Entonces, y veamos, tampoco, vowel, vowel, consonant. Entonces, el ing quedaría así, eating, no double. You don't double the letter. Entonces, así se puede ver si se hace doble o no se hace doble. La última letra de las palabras. Ok. Thank you, You're welcome. I, I will give you about four minutes to unscramble the following In words. Meet. Meeting. Meet or meeting. Aplica con verbos, Nelson. Alberto, en adjectives, esta regla, adjectives, superlatives, con esos son con los que aplican. Si fuera meeting, ok, está el verbo meet, okay. no aplica, ahí sería solo meeting, ing, normal, porque no es consonant, vowel, consonant. Si no, pueden hacerlo así. Sí, B, sí. Así sí. tiene que terminar. Ok, normal. Mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. So this is what you guys have to do. You have to order, order the, the words to create sentences. Just organize the words. In about three minutes, we check them. We check them together. But I'm going to give you a moment so you can start thinking about them. Okay, so here Sorry, you Sorry, teacher, see. which page is that? Uh, let me see. 30, page number 30. Got it. Mm -hmm.
Okay, sorry that I don't give you more time. But in this moment, we will start checking them together. Okay, let me see. Let's start with Joanna. Okay, Joanna, what do you think about number two? Can you read your sentence? And Mark is setting the ladders the next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to type it here. Mark is sending letters next week. The article day is not necessary, so I'm going to omit it. Thank you, Joanna. Is correct. Marce, number three. Um, Jane is working on the report tonight. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, thank you. Now, number four, Daisy. Oh, Daisy is not here today, right? Rosy, and you? Number four. Um, Teria Walter is singing the chicks today. Uh -huh. uh, just the pronunciation will be signing, signing the checks. Today. Signing the check today. Okay, thank you. Let's continue with number five. Do you have that one, Mario? Number five. I don't hear you well. No sé si tienes muy cerca el micrófono, pero no se entiende. Sorry. Ah, okay, now it's better. Uh, Marina uh -huh. is organizing. Organizing. Mm -hmm. The presentation in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Thank you. And then we have the last one. Can you help us with that one, Nelson? Number six. Okay. Uh, Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nelson. That's the one. Do you have questions about this exercise? Questions about these guys? No? Okay, so now the role play. Okay, so let's try to practice or put into practice what we're studying. Okay, let's try to create a conversation. Imagine that you have a conversation and is about schedule events at your workplace or in your life. It could be about your workplace or your life, okay? Van a imaginar que, que tienen una conversación sobre planes futuros with your classmate, okay? Traten de elaborarla bien. Apply what you're studying today. Questions. Acuérdense que también vimos saludos in the first level, so you can use that. También tenemos how to say goodbye. So try to use it. Okay, tal vez no va a ser de dos minutos, okay, one minute, okay, but apply what you are studying. I'm going to separate you. Les voy a dar más tiempo ahora para que hoy sí la puedan elaborar y que todos puedan, puedan darla. Okay, I'm just going to <coughs> recreate uh, the groups. We will have, okay, Joanna, you will be working with, with Trina this time. And then Marcela, work with Katia. And then Mario, please work with Nehemias. And then Marisela, are you here? No, okay. 
Alberto and René. Alberto and René. And let me see. Ren Sorry. Alberto and Nelson. And René, René Dilberto, you'll work with Rosie. Rosie and, and Zulma. And I'll visit you there in a moment in case you need me. Estoy de vacaciones. Hello. ¿Qué Hola. tal van? ¿No necesitan ayuda? Uh, ahorita estamos improvisando. Ah, ok. All right. Me voy a quedar aquí un ratito. Ok, but you can continue. Pero este, teníamos una pregunta. Tell eh, me. Sobre... Porque lo principal es uh, que practiquemos los eventos, ¿verdad? Y el presente continuo. Ese es el tiempo, ¿verdad? ajá, evaluar. Ajá. Pero podemos utilizar uh, todo lo que hemos visto, ¿verdad? Claro. Uh -huh. okay. O sea, el que más ¿verdad? quiero ver yo es present continuous, ¿verdad? Pero a veces es necesario como combinar diferentes cosas. So you can do it. Ok. Entonces, Marcela, nos quedamos que usted está on vacation, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, yo le voy a preguntar: en Yucatán, ¿cómo se dice? Que? ¿Cómo? Para decir qué harás mañana. Oh. Oh. How how you doing? How how are you doing tomorrow? What? What, what? are you? What are oh. you doing tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I have working and um in the at night I have. I have an uh, English class. And you? I, I am resting 
tomorrow and I having I am having English class two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um this weekend what are you doing? Uh, Hello, Joanna and Tigna. How how is your conversation going? Are you Hola. done? Ya um, terminaron su conversation. Dicha solo ahí lo que es la conversación sobre dice aquí el punto 5 que es sobre eventos en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero si ustedes quieren, pueden modificarlo un poco y que sea de su vida también. Ah, porque ayer estábamos armando sobre el Holiday Favorite, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Que dijo que armáramos también una pequeña conversación. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero no sé si entendí mal que a, a lo de ayer le íbamos a agregar. Podrían, ajá, podrían tratar de modificarlo a manera que sea algo futuro, como lo que van a hacer en esta Navidad, planes concretos okay. que ya hayan, podría ser. La conversación de ahorita es como de, de planes como a futuro. Uh -huh. Tenemos pensado lo que queremos hacer. Ajá, uh -huh. like what are you doing next week? Um, you know, next week I'm going to the dentist. Or next week I have a medical appointment. What about you? What are you doing on Saturday? Mm, I'm going to the beach with my family, blah, 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 blah. Yo quiero ver cómo ya lo, lo combinan con saludo, despedida and, and everything. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué tal van? Ya lo tienen listo. No. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. All right. Voy a ir a ver cómo van los demás y las voy a dejar aquí solitas para que vean si pueden agarrar una idea de cómo lo harán. Ok. okay. Sí. Prácticamente solo un test donde hay que complementar. Mm -hmm. Hello, how are you doing? How is your conversation uh, going? Uh, I'm improvising. You're improvising. <laughs> Exactly. And are you done? Have you finished? Yes. Conversation? Yes. Okay, entonces no yeah. tienen anotaciones, solo lo han como hablado. Yes. Eh, oh. solo, estuvi mm -hmm. solo estuvimos eh, anotando prácticamente los, los verbos a utilizar dentro de la conversación que vamos a tener. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, that sounds good. Okay, because, si pueden... uh, because, mm -hmm. because it's a little conversation. Uh, uh, no podemos hacer como uh, similar, como un, una worship. No. O sea, no solo podemos mm -hmm. como que eh, cuentas, cuéntame sobre ti. Ya, yeah, como que uh, I am going to the beach uh, uh, on Saturday, October. Mm -hmm. First or or the second. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's like a conversation. No, es solo. No es necesario uh -huh. como utilizar solo eh, la forma pregunta, sino que también usar como el, el presente, mm -hmm. eh, en forma presente, como que I am, I am going. Sí. Okay, bueno, si entonces ya están listos, pueden tratar de regresar al main room. Yo voy a estar ahí en un minuto y los escucho. Escucho su okay. conversación de okay, So I'll visit you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Activity do you have a guest you for this month? Uh, this month I have industrial safety training. That's good. Hi, how uh, are you doing? Are you done? Hi, ya la tienen lista. <laughs> Uh, algo así. Sí. Okay. Oso, so, so. Algo corta, algo corta. Ajá, pero sí, un... pero quiero, sí, porque ayer no, ya no logré casi escuchar ninguna. 
Bueno, entonces algo creo easy. que... Ajá. Sí, algo simple. Vamos comenzando poco a poco, vamos a ir agregando más. Ok, entonces volvamos al main room y, y allá los escucho, lo que han hecho. Ok, so, okay, see you there. Yeah. Ok, so Nelson. Ok, something short, algo que sea corto, pero que se vea, ¿verdad? Lo que estamos practicando. You can start, ya pueden comenzar. Yes, Nelson, are, are you there? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Hello, are you are you working tomorrow? Yes, I am. I work. And, and you, Alberto? Mm, no, um, I am resting tomorrow. Um, Tell me, what about you? Where is your plan in the future? Repeat, please. You, are you are you going to the beach? Are you celebrate uh, celebrate celebrating uh, uh, day or other day important? Um, I'm going to. Um, I am I am celebrating um, um, birthday uh, some some birthday. Um, September 13. And, and September. Tell me, do you do you drink do you drink uh, drinking coffee in the morning or afternoon? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, in the afternoon. No in the no in the morning, but the coffee is a little delicious. Um. Yeah. Yes. 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 Delicious. Um. Um. Uh, uh, Alberto, um, uh, are you going driving in the work? No, I not. Only I try. Uh, only I am driving my motorcycle uh, on weekend. Only weekend. Okay, I think I'm going to stop you there, Nelson and and Alberto. But thank you for the the conversation. I have some comments, but I'm going to give them to you probably tomorrow, okay? Vamos a, a seguir, mañana les doy feedback, okay, about the conversation. But thank you, Nelson and, and Alberto. Okay, so teacher. let's continue with Nehemias. Nehemias and Mario, okay? Something short, but to, to the chase. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hi, Mario. Remember to unmute yourself, Mario. Hi, Nemia. Nice to see you. Uh, I like it too. Yes. I have a question. Excellent, Nemia. Uh, what activity do you have a case to for this month? I have industrial safety training this month. Ah, that's good. Uh, and you? I have a conference on cooperative. Oh, how oh, interesting. If it, if it is very interesting. Great. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Only teacher. Good. Very good. You use present continuous to express future activities. Thank you. Katia, Marcela, continue, please. Okay. Hi, Marcela. How are you? 
Hi, Katia. I'm fine. And you? I'm fine too. Um, but I'm going to work tomorrow. And you? 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 Are, are you working tomorrow? Uh, sorry, Katia, but no, I don't work in tomorrow because I am vacation. Oh, mm -hmm. that, that's great. And you you are you are having plans for this weekend? Yes, I'm going to the church this Sunday. And you what are you doing this weekend? Um, this weekend, I, I'm having uh, my sister's uh, birthday and I dinner with my family. Great. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Are you eating cake? cake. Yes. Probably I eat a lot. <laughs> um, um, do you like cake? Yes, I like cake. Oh, this is good. This is great. Excellent. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, you try to, to make it as natural as you could and you, you were able to create questions and answers, expressions to express the interest. Thank you, Katia and Marcela. Okay, so it is Joanna and Rina. Can you continue, please? Hi, Rina, how are you? I'm... Hi, Joanna. I'm fine. I wait a lot of work for the next weekend on June time, December, because I will work an in, inventory. Inventory. Uh, an inventory. An inventory. Um, and you, Joanna? You have a lot of work, Rina. <laughs> and I am on vacation. I am to the beach tomorrow. I am uh, watching the, uh, of the movie on the Sunday. Uh, on the Saturday, on Sunday, meeting with my friends. And I am traveling to Europe next week. Nice to see you, Rina. Mm. Nice to see you, Joanna. Okay, thank you, Dina and Joanna. Wow, you're going to Europe next week. That's so nice. Okay, thank you. And Rina, a lot of work. And Joanna, vacations. Okay, thank you. And now we will listen to Rene, Rossi, and Zulma. Hi, Rene. Hi, Rosie. Hi there, Zulma. Hi, Rene. Hi, Zulma. What do you do? Hi, um, Well, we talking about that we going to celebrate a birthday this next Saturday. Um, the birthday of my aunt, my aunt. So we going to the beach. And That's you, Rosie, okay. you going to celebrate a birthday too? We going to celebrate birthday my sister. 
on next Saturday 11th in my house and buy pastel, buy cake, parece que se dice, and, and drink and eat with my family. We are going to celebrate it. my friend Mother Birdan is in class at two uh, in September 15th. Uh, it's a holiday. I will do I going to do it. Um, okay, is that it, guys? Or it is? Yes, that, that okay. is. <laughs> okay, thank you, Zulma, Rene, and Rosie. I have some feedback, but because of the time, I'll, I'll give it to you tomorrow, okay? But thank you for your effort, and you could have your conversation, okay? I will take the attendance in this moment before you go. Daisy Mesquita, Doris de Castaneda, Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela, Mario Cruz, Katia Gabriela, okay, Maricela del Carmen, Lisette del Carmen, Mauricio, thank you, Mauricio Castaneda, Minette Rivera, Nehemías, regalo, Nelson Roberto. Thank you, Nelson Alberto, eh, Nelson René. Present. Thank you, Present. Rafael Antonio, René Guardado, Rina Espinosa. Present. Thank Present. you. Rosy Meléndez, Vladimir Antonio. Present. Ok, Rosy. Yanira Cepeda y Zulma López. Present, teacher. Okay, there we go. Well, congratulations. Tomorrow we will have more conversations, okay? So you can practice your speaking skills. But for now, we will stop. See you tomorrow, guys. I hope you can rest a lot. Te duerman mucho. So you have a Thank lot of energy here. tomorrow. Bye, Naimia, Sulma. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, oh, Bye, guys. And, and then, are you going to stay today? Because you sure. are supposed to. Uh -huh. Okay, and I forgot sure, no to, to say it before. Okay, we will wait just a moment just for two classmates, your classmates to leave. And then we will have our session. One moment. Okay, Rene. Well, thank you that I noticed that today you went slowly and you tried to go um, basic in a basic way. Thank you, because you know that sometimes it's hard like for Rosie or Zulma to speak or to understand. So you have to go slowly. So I noticed that you, you try to do it. Mm -hmm. But yes, tell yeah, me. Yeah, I try. Is there something that you need to reinforce that you don't understand? that you would like to practice? Um, maybe not reinforce, but uh, I would like to have more uh, like corrections in my vocabulary. You would like to. Yo sé que no, que no pronuncio algunas cosas bien, porque mm -hmm. uh, a veces el, Eh, la correcta pronunciación no la hago o la modulación de voz al momento de, de, de decir las palabras, sé que algunas no las digo bien. Eso uh -huh. es, eh, creo que principalmente por eso comencé desde un curso un poco menor o uh -huh. más eh, básico, porque a mí me gustaría eh, comenzar a ver eh, las composiciones, la estructura de las frases, Porque en mi caso, para aprender inglés, fue como 
eh, escuchándolo y hablándolo sin tener una base muy fuerte sobre la gramática. Entonces yo comprendo y sé que las frases o las oraciones o, los, o lo que me digan significa de esa forma y se menciona de esa forma porque así lo he venido repitiendo con las otras personas que tienen interacciones. Pero en algún punto no sé por qué va, digamos, primero el sujeto, después el verbo. Y, o sea, siempre en el lenguaje me costó eh, eso, pero en inglés es lo que busco entender más, cómo, cómo van estructuradas, cómo ocupar los tiempos correctamente eh, y la pronunciación. Tal vez eso no lo pueda ver ahorita, tal vez más adelante, ya después de ver lo principal, que es conocer eh, las estructuras o cómo usar los verbos o cómo usar los adjetivos, todo eso. Cuando veamos eso, ya más adelante podemos ver eh, lo de la pronunciación, pero eh, me gusta bastante el curso. O sea, siento que me está ayudando porque hay bastantes cosas que no, no, no sabía. Entonces estoy aprendiendo, no es que ya lo sepa todo. O sea, estoy aprendiendo cosas. Okay, y eso es lo que me ha gustado bastante. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you want to be more corrected. Like in the moment you make a mistake, you would like me to let you know. Like, eh, René, that's not the way. René, this or that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, uh, okay. you, you say this word, but the correct pronunciation is this, or mm -hmm. you can say it on this way, or you, uh, like today, that you tell me, okay, th that's good, but you can say it with is, go I, I is going, the, the structure, is uh -huh. the structure, correct. That's, okay. that's, I feel that that is going to help me a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to keep that in mind because I, I do correct you, but I I could sometimes I I just let some things go. I maybe I don't like correct mm -hmm. each single mistake, but if you if you point that out, I can go a little bit more like strong on you in that way. Like <laughs> okay, let's yeah, let's I, change I, that. I, right? I, That's right. I can state that on oh, my case that it will be work. I know that I'm not the the, the my the other um, companions, the other your partners or peers. My, the other partners partners here. Maybe they going to to to, to feel that they, they or oh, or feel scared about if you correct them on some mm -hmm. point. But it's part of the learning. I mean, uh, uh -huh. for me, it's work to you to say, it, you know what? Uh, you say it in this way, but you can say it. It is the correct pronunciation is this way. That will be help me up for me on my case. Uh -huh. It's my good case. to know because correcting people sometimes it could be difficult. You have to find a way to say it without also correct. offending people because everyone is trying right and if you go too hard sometimes you can hurt their feelings and some people get so offended that later they don't even want to study anymore I have had cases like those like my teacher was so hard he was like always correcting me <laughs> each single mistake Correct. that I don't want to like speak a lot and I'm like okay so it's like sometimes difficult I like to know, like what you're telling me is good to know because I know like how far I can go. There's always a way to say it right. Like we don't have to be That's rude right. to correct people. We can find a way to say it. That's but right. yeah, if you want to be like, like more corrective, I can for sure. I can like let you know after you say it. What do you prefer to. like to be corrected when like right before you say it or at the end of your comment? Uh, maybe if I say something or I participated, I know that on some point I lack of vocabulary. So mm -hmm. maybe you can help me to, to, to give me options how to say the things mm -hmm. or how to express the, my, my, uh, what I try to say. It, to say. Um, That will be helped. That okay. for sure will help. Mm -hmm. 
okay, sounds cool. Yeah, I can, I can do that. But yeah, maybe today what I noticed at the end, because I told you that I was going to give you some feedback. When you ask the question, because you were talking about going, celebrating and to the beach, I think you mentioned some mm -hmm. places to go. When you ask Rossi mm -hmm. or Zulma, you didn't use R. You just went like we or you going. So you missed the, the verb. Like are the you beach. going? Uh huh. Are you going or are you are. celebrating? Mm -hmm. That is what I noticed. Okay. But talking about your pronunciation, like I have heard you, and I will say, I can say that you have very good pronunciation. Very few times, maybe I have heard like mistakes, pronunciation mistakes. Yeah. But mostly because I, I think that maybe with pronunciation, I'm always like listening very carefully. So I'm always like, Maricela, this is the correct way to say it. But with you, I haven't done it a lot because sure. I don't hear you like saying it in a bad way. So if I haven't said right. a lot of things, it's because I haven't seen like too many mistakes on your pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Sure. So, well, in that case, I don't know if there is something else that you would like to comment or that you may need help with. Not at this moment. I am really comfortable with the class. I am really glad to be here. And I am learning a lot, being really honest. It's okay. actually something that, I, that is helpful. I'm glad. I'm glad point. to hear that. And whenever you have a comment, you know you can also text me. You guys have my phone number. So in case you need to say something, please say it. Because comments will always help us too. All right, Rene. So All right, in that sure, case, will. we will we will stop here and we continue tomorrow. Okay. But nice talking to you. I okay. hope you can you can enjoy the, the rest of the night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. You too. Bye.